this week Avengers Infinity War comes out, which means my top five Wednesday absolutely had to be my top five favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe films. This was a very difficult thing to do. In fact, I limited myself only to the films because if I opened it up to anything that necessarily qualifies as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was gonna drown in content and have no idea how to pick a favorite. As it is, this is my current five favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Number five is Iron Man. You really can't go wrong with the film that started it all. It ignited, or in my case, I guess, reignited a love for Marvel that I'd sort of lost and had brought me back into comics that I loved and had opened up an entire movie universe that I was really gonna get into. Plus, Robert Downey Jr. just basically walked onto set and was like, hey, I am Tony Stark any questions and he's been that way ever since number four this spot was the hardest for me to decide I had a lot of contenders for fourth place but I went with spider-man homecoming spider-man is my favorite Marvel superhero has been since I was a small child I love Peter Parker's story. I love the Spider-Verse in general. Most of the incarnations of Spider-Man across the multiverse I really really like and I have always enjoyed the Spider-Man films. The Tobey Maguire one I thought had a great Peter Parker but an unfortunate not quippy enough Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield's had a very quippy Spider-Man but it was hard for me to believe that Andrew Garfield wasn't literally loved by everybody. He was a skater boy punk. Like you cannot tell me that he was socially awkward and rejected. So Tom Holland and his appearance in Civil War got me really interested. He was a motor mouth. I really liked it. I liked the way that he was written. And then Spider-Man Homecoming delivered everything that I wanted. It was not an origin story, which was great. It delivered an interesting plot, an interesting villain that hadn't been done before. It wrapped itself into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And Tom Holland was the perfect awkward Peter Parker and crazy motor mouth kind of cocky Spider-Man. So that's what comes in at number four. Number three is the first Guardians of the Galaxy. That's because that film showed up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and they were like, hey, we're gonna take these characters that most of you have never heard of and make you fall completely in love. In fact, it's gonna become so popular that this version of the Guardians of the Galaxy is gonna take off in the comic book world because everybody's gonna be like, yes, please give me more Star-Lord, Rocket, Groot, Gamora, and Drax. And the film is fun, the soundtrack is phenomenal, and it opened the universe, the entirety of space up for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I think that that's very important. And Mostly it was a good time. I love movies that are a good time and it's one that I can point to people and be like Hey, you should watch this movie and it doesn't matter if you'd watched any of the other MCU films You can watch the first Guardians of the Galaxy and just enjoy it as a good movie Number two is the most recent Marvel Cinematic release Which is Black Panther. This movie blew my mind it inundated me with a plethora of awesome characters, most of which are really awesome female characters, which was great. It has the best villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe without argument. Michael B. Jordan puts on a fantastic show. It's a heartwarming story and it creates a unique world and environment that none of the other films have done so far. And I think that it speaks to stuff that's really, really important here and now in the real world, which is something that a film should do. It shouldn't necessarily be all about escapism, although sometimes escapism is important. I like that the film drew on things existing in our current world and brought that all back together so that you feel those problems in this universe and see how the superheroes react to them which I thought was really, really, really good. And it's just overall an amazing film. I mean, gosh darn. All of the technology that they use, the crazy fighting, the awesome outfits, the places they travel, it was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If you didn't see Black Panther, you're missing out. And number one is a surprise to 
literally no one who knows me, and that is Captain America Winter Soldier. And that's because the Winter Soldier storyline is one of Mallory's all-time favorite Marvel storylines, because I like nothing better than a sidekick who goes dark and has to be saved. Really like brainwashing. Who knew? There's a Batman story where Robin gets brainwashed and then has to be saved. Also like that story. In fact, I've read several stories where best friends or sidekicks or members of a team go dark and then you have to save them. Uh, Fallout Boy has an entire movie, short film, I guess, that is all of the songs to their Save Rock and Roll album. All of the music videos put together create a short film called Youngblood Chronicles, which is basically about how one member of Fall Out Boy goes evil and starts attacking them and then they have to save him. And it's one of my favorite things ever. Clearly, I have a storyline I really like. This delivers. Plus, Bucky Barnes is one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the story changed everything. Winter Soldier took things that had been built in the first set of movies and tore them apart. It destroyed S.H.I.E.L.D. It destroyed Captain America's faith in the country. It started what would eventually be the Civil War between Cap and Iron Man. And it brought back a character that we thought was dead and that Cap thought was dead and it changed the dynamics in the world. And so it's an important film to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole, and it's an important film to my heart, which is why it gets the number one spot. Clearly, you can disagree with me because I only picked five films and I changed my mind about what I think is important and poignant and a favorite of mine. So let me know what your favorite MCU films are down in the comments and if you are ready for Infinity Wars. I probably won't see it until this weekend, so I'm gonna avoid the internet and spoilers, but when I see it, I'm sure I will do a review and I will see you guys tomorrow.